Hello and welcome. I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your Noon Time Wrap. Poll officials say a Supreme Court decision on voter receipts puts the poll body into a state of emergency. The High Court ruled Tuesday 14-0, requiring the Commission on Elections to issue voter receipts for the main nine polls. The poll body earlier voted 7-0 against the receipts, saying it can be used for electoral fraud and can add to voting time. Comelec Chief Andres Bautista says the decision is made a mere 62 days before Election Day. Short of denouncing the decision, Comelec Commissioner Arthur Lim says it's a day of sadness. This is a day of sadness. Not for the community, not even for the Supreme Court, but for Philippine democracy and the rule of law. On the same day, the SC allowed Senator Grace Poe to run for president, overturning Komalik's decision to cancel her certificate of candidacy. Komalik earlier ruled Poe is not a natural-born Filipino and failed to meet residency requirements. The Philippine government asks anti-graft court Sandigan Bayan to decide the ownership of art pieces from the Marcos family. The Presidential Commission on Good Government and the Office of the Solicitor General argue the value of the art collection exceeds the income of former President Ferdinand Marcos and his wife Imelda. The PCGG is the agency mandated to recover ill-gotten wealth. Officials value the art pieces at 24 million U.S. dollars, while the Marcos's combined income amounts to only about 300,000 U.S. dollars. The government's first list of paintings are nearly worth 12 million U.S. dollars, while the second list of paintings and sculptures are valued at over 500,000 U.S. dollars. The PCGG OSG also asks the court to issue an order allowing the police to seize and secure the assets and stop the Marcos's from selling the artworks. The lone total solar eclipse for 2016 sweeps across Indonesia and the Pacific Ocean. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes directly between the Earth and the sun. Partial eclipses this year are visible in northern Australia and parts of Southeast Asia, including southern parts of the Philippines. Thousands of tourists and scientists flock to Indonesia to witness the event. And that's your Noontime Wrap. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.